Okay, fella. Yeah. Take more than that, boy. to see you back, sir. I can see you look after your firearm. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. Glad to see you're taking care of it. So many people don't. I can see you look after your firearm. Welcome all to this excellent... You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. 
breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence. <laughs> Humane! Ah! Oh, his life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful! Kill him already! Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. They don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine.
It's me. You should leave that to the youngsters. you fools is about to eat. I thanked you already. Good morning, Arthur. Was it not loud enough? I'm famished. Believe me, you'll be the first to know.
Morning. Whiskey kind of morning. <laughs> Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well... Life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. <laughs> All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I say, she was defending herself. 
She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. No doubt. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Don't get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs> Okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. <sighs> the one in front of the ball. Bring them back All right. Get after them. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Don't let him get away! Now make sure you tie him up real good. Get this off of me. Make these nice and tight. All right. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm going to head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. I'll take his horse. He won't be needing it no more. Look at the floor for a bit. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny. Watch now. <laughs> Get off me, funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed you coward. Bastard. She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Here we go. So 
So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Finish the bastard off. You know my choice. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. Yep. Welcome back. Thinking of going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. Try looking for that one out by Catfish Jackson's. How do you do? Get him and his cronies. Tell him that we're just railway workers here. With you in a moment. Odd instruments of tyranny or however hey, they partner. phrase it. The imbeciles. Hey there! Hello! Ah, good to see you. Let me write down the name of that, uh, Taylor for you. So, what are we looking at? Passenger's a wealthy merchant. Always travels with a lot of cash on him. Details on the note. Okay. Good seeing you, Alden. And you, my friend. And you. Thanks for your assistance. Girl. 
Easy. my friends. I am proud of you all. Look here! The state house might have sent him. Put you in the dirt, you bastard! Ah!
This hunk of dead meat used to be called the Millimont. Okay, put him out the back there. Probably best it ended this way, you know? This town don't need any more of its dirty laundry here. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. That's it. In a minute. Got anything good for me by any chance? All right, then. Better be good. Not bad, this. I'll see you soon. What? here to try this town's wine or women or just whatever's cheapest you don't like visitors huh you looking for a volley of musket fire this is Lemoyne Raider land excuse me be on your best behavior lest I stop breaking digits ah! <laughs> 